Good morning everyone, it is time for some makeup today. We tried this the other day and it went horrifically wrong because I bought the wrong shade of foundation but today I actually bought the fair shade and I thought if I kept the light shade, if you have no idea what I'm talking about by the way, I bought this It Cosmetics CC Cream and I bought the light shade and it was really dark. I thought I would mix both of them because the fair is going to be too light and somehow we will get to my foundation shade. <laughs> I had my eyebrows done yesterday. Very exciting time. Had the nicest chat as well with the girl who did them. We were just talking about cats for like half an hour. Yeah, they look so much better. My face actually looks complete. Eyebrows make the biggest difference and mine are quite light. Hmm, I think this might be my shade. So I wanted to talk to you about my hair. I was supposed to have it done last Tuesday, but obviously I didn't. I mean, part of the reason was because I was ill, but also another part of the reason is because I definitely didn't book enough time with the hairdresser for what I wanted. So after looking at all the balayage, I decided that it was definitely too warm toned blonde for me. Like I sue cooler toned blonde colors and I knew that I hadn't booked enough time to get something like this done, which is what ideally I really want. I found this picture and I was like, okay, yeah, that is what I want. So then I booked in a hair consultation. By the way, this is the tiniest beauty blender ever. It's meant for concealer, but I can't find my normal one. As I was saying, then I booked in a color appointment with my hairdresser for her to take a bit of my hair and make sure it lightens to the silver color because if it doesn't, there's no point in me trying to have it done. I don't want to completely ruin my hair by doing this because it's in such good condition. This beauty blender's making such a weird noise. So she was going to take a bit of my hair and see how easy it would be to lighten it to silver. Now I have had silver hair before and my hair lightens really, really quickly. So I know that it probably won't take that long. But the day that I was supposed to have that done was the last day that I was poorly, so I had to cancel that as well. However, having to cancel them has made me properly sit down and think about what I want instead of rushing into it. I'm the queen of impulse. Like, I will just have a decision and I will have to do it. <laughs> But because I've had time to think about this, I'm thinking, do I really want to ruin how healthy my hair is at the minute for potentially a couple of months of having a different hair colour? Because we all know that I end up dyeing it back brown anyway. So now I'm a bit torn on what to do. <laughs> I've also decided that I want to grow my hair rather than cut it. So ideally, I would like it to get to this length. I think that's like a really nice length for me. So also, if I end up dyeing it silver, I'm gonna have to have quite a bit cut off because of damage. It would end up probably being like that. Oh, I'm so torn. Let me know what you think I should do. If I should just leave it brown, dye it darker brown and grow it, or if I should go shorter one last time, dye it silver and take life from there. I'm gonna leave a poll up here. This has worked out really well. I've definitely got my skin tone now which is amazing the reason why i'm putting makeup on today is because i am filming some sponsored content for spotify i love working with spotify so much because i literally use spotify every day so it's a perfect fit this vlog is not sponsored by the way i'm obviously just vlogging my days so i'm telling you what i'm up to so i think i've worked with spotify about four times now they keep coming back to work with me which is just like <gasps> The best thing ever so we have got some instagram stuff to do for them today and i thought you know what gabs make an effort <laughs> put your face on i don't know if you can see how nice that foundation has gone on but it is bloody beautiful i'm so happy i got the fair shade now yay that means i can use this one type of foundation for when i don't have fake tan on either because i think the fair shade will maybe be okay for that <gasps> I haven't done my makeup in so long. I'm actually so excited. <laughs> I love becoming a catfish. You know, sometimes I look at my pictures on Instagram and I'm like, who is that girl? Because <laughs> it's not me. <laughs> I want to become the kind of person who wants to put makeup on every day. You know, there's some people who don't feel like they're ready for the day unless they've got makeup on. I'm not one of them people. I can go out and literally walk the streets in my pajamas, no makeup, greasy hair, and I'm fine. I think I'm too fine. I want to become the kind of person who like wants to put a bit of an effort in. So I think I need to figure myself out an easy like 10 minute makeup routine. It would be a lot quicker if I had a bigger beauty blender. Let's have some tunes. I never let you go five words you never say Different view of my 
go, makeup is done. My eyebrows look amazing. I'm so happy I went and had them done. I was gonna cancel my appointment because I was like, eh, can't make that much of a difference. But I haven't had my eyebrows done since the 9th of August. And it just makes the biggest difference, even when it comes to just filling them in. I've got a proper shape, it's amazing. Here is my makeup up close. I'm loving it today. I feel very summery, which is really weird. I do not want to feel summery right now. I want to feel very wintry. But it's actually really sunny outside today. I'm kind of hot. I've had like a Sula this whole time. But I'm gonna go get my Spotify content done. It involves Nelly, so I hope he's on his best behavior today or there's gonna be trouble. <laughs> oh my gosh, I've finished. That was an ordeal and a half. They say never work with children or animals. I agree. I'm now gonna put a Yorkshire pudding meal in the oven because it's Sunday and I want a roast. That honestly took so much longer than I thought and now that we've stopped, he's been an angel. Goosifer. Beep, 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 boop. I love you so much. I'm gonna give him a treat for being such a good boy. I know I've just got a blind in this room, but I have actually ordered some curtains and a curtain pole because I just thought it would like just add something a little bit extra to the room to have some curtains. So we're going to put them up now. Not entirely sure how this is going to go. I feel like it's going to be kind of hard to put them up, but we're going to try. Plot twist, can't hang it because the wall up there is literally stone and my drill won't go through it. It went through one hole, but it needs to go through six and it just would not go through them. So I can't have... A a curtain pull. Look, it's so nice. And I bought some curtains too, so I'll have to take them to my mum's house and she can have them. Sad times. Being as that was a humongous fail, I thought I'd talk to you about something that I got a few months ago, maybe more like two months ago, but I've used it a lot since I got it. I'd always just bought like cheap suitcases and not really wanted to pay much money for them, but Away kindly gifted me a suitcase and I can honestly tell such a difference. I'm gonna buy myself the bigger one because I love this one so much. So I'm gonna talk you through it. So this is a suitcase that I got. I went for the bigger carry-on. You do a smaller carry-on and a bigger one. I thought it would be good just to have a little bit of extra space, but I got this specifically thinking about going to Austria and Germany. I usually take a massive suitcase with me, but I wanted to really downsize. As you can see, I got the pink shade of this, obviously. How can I not go for pink? The thing I love the most about this suitcase is that it comes with a battery pack right here. So you can charge your phone and all of your gadgets on the go, which is literally perfect for me because my phone always runs out of battery. It's so annoying and I carry around this really, really heavy charger and now I don't have to. It's just literally in my suitcase. If we have a little look inside of the suitcase, this is a compartment that I love so much. I'm able to fit so many clothes in this suitcase purely because of this compartment. It's basically got a compression bit on it. So you'll fill this bit up with your clothes and then you put this over the top and you tie it with these and it compresses all of your clothes down. So I'm able to fit the same amount of clothes in this carry-on suitcase that I could fit in my last medium suitcase, which is amazing. It's saving me so much room. Then it's also got this little mesh compartment on this side, which I use for toiletries and shoes and stuff like that. And the main thing I look for nowadays in suitcases is that they've got four wheels because they're so much easier to move around. You don't have to tip it or anything. You can just like wheel it alongside you and it wheels so perfectly. So if you guys are looking at two treats, yourself to a new suitcase definitely check a way out because honestly I love this and like I said I'm gonna be buying myself the bigger one. Away also very kindly gifted me this bag which has changed the game for me when it comes to traveling and the reason why that is is because on the back it's got a flap I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that and you put that over the handle the handle goes through it and your bag is never gonna fall off the suitcase. How amazing is that? So now when I go to the airport I literally don't have to carry anything all I have to do is just wheel my suitcase. I know that my bag's never going to fall off. It's wonderful and I love that in this back section there's a pocket so I would put my passport in that bit. And then inside it's got room for a laptop or an iPad and it's got so many different pockets. It's really hard to show you because obviously it's a black bag but I'm going to leave links to both of these things below. They have honestly changed the game for me when I was traveling. When I came home from Sheffield before Christmas I had Nelly in his carrier as well and it made such a difference that I could just put my bag on this suitcase, 
wheel it with the four wheels beside me and also wheel Nelly and not have to worry about like is anything going to fall off anything being too heavy just because it wheels so well so I would highly 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 honestly recommend away suitcases I love mine so much so thank you guys for gifting it to me I really really appreciate it now I'm just going to have a little sit down with my cup of tea I've got some work to do this afternoon so I'm literally just going to be sat working for the rest of the day and then tomorrow I've got an electrician come in to fix my lights I think I spoke to you about this in my last vlog but my bathroom lights there's something really wrong with them they just flicker so badly so someone is coming to look at them but the time frame they've given me is literally all day long anytime before 6 p.m so I've got to stay in up until potentially 6 p.m I'm hoping he comes earlier so I can go out then on Wednesday I'm off to see Lucy in London which is so exciting so yeah I'm gonna leave this vlog here go and get my work done give it a thumbs up uh. <laughs> Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one. Bye. But you make me feel helpless, yeah. And I can't stand another day.